Exchange rates matter for the prices uh, we pay in shops. So if um, sterling depreciates relative to a foreign currency, then foreign goods imported into the UK become more expensive and this increases the prices that we pay in shops. To understand how exchange rates affect uh, domestic inflation, what people usually do is to look at the bilateral exchange rate between the importing country, say the UK, and the currency of the exporting country. However, there could be cases where the exporting country invoices goods not in their own currency or in sterling, but say in a third currency. So it could be that a Japanese firm invoices the UK and US dollars. And what we show is that to what matters for UK inflation is not going to be the bilateral exchange rate, but it's going to be the exchange rate between sterling and the currency that is used for invoicing imported goods. So we look at three major episodes where uh, sterling uh, changed relative to other currencies. So the period following the, the Brexit vote, the EU sovereign debt crisis when uh, sterling appreciated with respect to the euro, and the Great Recession. And what we find is that inflation increased by more than expected once we take into account uh, the currency of invoicing during the Great Recession and following the Brexit vote, while it fell less than expected during the EU sovereign debt crisis. During the, the Great Recession, uh, sterling depreciated to a large extent with respect to the US dollar. This had a large effect on the price of imported goods priced in US dollar into the UK, which means that UK inflation increased by more than expected. Our results are important and even crucial for central banks because it means that policymakers, when they want to assess the effect of exchange rates on consumer price inflation, they should take into account the currency of invoicing of imported goods and therefore that some exchange rates matter more than others to explain consumer price inflation.